Hey folks, welcome to the review about the Canon EOS 80D from Frankfurt, of course, and with Aletha. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> On the box you will find the most important specs of this APS-C sensor camera with its 24.2 megapixels, its Digic 6 processor, up to 7 frames per second and a 45 cross type autofocus. Then the usual paper stuff, the ATD strap, the LPE 6th and rechargeable battery with its 1865 mAh. You may use the old LPE 6 batteries as well. And of course the ATD body that is made of polycarbonate which has dust and splash protection and feels very well. The body of the ATD measures 140mm in length, 100mm in height and 80mm in depth and weighs 730 grams including the battery and SD card. The ATD has a lot of features to offer, among others an external microphone input, a headphone jack and a remote connection. Unfortunately just a USB 2.0 mini USB port with an HDMI connection just below. On the lower side, as usual, a standard tripod mount and the battery storage for the LP6 or the new LPE6N rechargeable battery. The SD card fits to the side and may be used up to 128GB. On the user side, you will notice the aperture lock switch that hinders you from unintentionally changing the aperture. The upper mode dial has the same lock switch and there is a bubble level as well. On the upper side we have a head display, best for changing settings for instance the shutter and aperture and the best way to save battery. There's the big 3 inch LCD touch display with its 1.04 million dots. It covers 100% and does not come amiss with the external port. You may use the smartphone like zoom function, if it's not too cold it should work properly. And because you are using a DSLR, use it like a DSLR. It saves a lot of battery looking through the viewfinder instead of looking onto the LCD screen. All relevant information being displayed on the lower side and you have full control of your 45 AF point for your specific needs. There we have the internal flash that needs 3 seconds after each shot to recycle itself. The built-in flash GN at ISO 100 is 12 and of course you may use an external flash that fits on top of the hot shoe. The shutter of the EOS ADD lets you shoot of a minimum of 8 thousandths of a second in various mode. For instance a silent mode for weddings and I'll be quiet. Or a high speed mode with up to 7 photos a second for 110 shots in JPEG or 25 photos in RAW. Let's get to the super fast dual pixel autofocus system of the Canon EOS ADD. It's impressive how fast this camera focuses on your subject in video and photo mode. You can switch between fore or background with just a single fingertip on it. That works best with the new Canon 18-135mm IS USM lens. With just a single fingertip it's possible to set the focus without turning the manual focus ring. So a great camera for a lot of YouTube guys out there who want to record themselves on a vlog. For our test we used the Canon 8-15mm f4 fisheye and the Sigma 35mm f1.4 art lens. This autofocus system works also great for those of you who want to take photos using the live view. Just click on the part of the screen you want to focus on and within one second the camera set the focus on that specific spot. That's the fastest live view focus I've seen on a DSLR by Canon. Yes, of course, there are a lot of creative tools that comes with the Canon EOS ADD. For instance, you can choose between HDR photos, low light photos and many other creative modes as well. As I said in advance, the autofocus is quite stunning even in these automatic modes. I set the focus and the camera did the rest quite nice. What I like most about Canon is the easy handling of the cameras. The menu is colored and well structured. That makes it easy for beginners and people coming from different brands. The video mode of the Canon ADD lets you shoot in Full HD with up to 60 frames per second. You can switch between MOV and MP4 as your favorite recording format. Unfortunately there is no 4K on this camera, next version will have it. 60 frames per second are good for skate or slow motion videos or just for the case that your video looks a bit more fluently. You have all time manual control about the recording level and you can set the volume of your headphones as well. 
Yoohoo! First time, Canon has a built-in time-lapse function. You can choose between 1 to 99 recordings or just set infinity. I recommend shooting in manual mode to prevent unwanted exposures. Place your ADD on top of a tripod and start the time-lapse. It will take photo by photo and unfortunately it does not merge these photos together to a video file. You have to do this manually on your computer. Can I use this camera as a vlogging camera? Yes, you can! It's a perfect vlogging camera! It has this flippy display, so I can see what I'm recording. And the best part to the end. The Luddite performance of this APS-C sensor camera is pretty good. Till ISO 6400 will the camera keep the details and the colors. Above you will notice very quick that the details getting lost. The ISO limit is at 25600. Remember, to all my videos you will find the photos as a download in the description below for private non-commercial use only. From my point of view, a very good camera, nice build quality and it feels pretty good in my hands. The video quality is clear and the photos have a great dynamic with a great low light performance for this APS-C sensor camera. What I like most about this camera is the fast out of focus system. Works great for sport photographers with up to 7 frames per second and for those of you who want to shoot in live view, works pretty fast as well. The camera costs around 1100 US dollars and is a great photo and video camera for beginners as well as advanced photographers. Get this camera on your local store in Frankfurt at the Central Station. GM Photo has it and they do have other great tools and cameras as well. Thanks for watching and to all that helped me with that video. Subscribe and thumbs up. See you soon. Bye bye.